This just in to CBS 4 News, new video of the incident that led to the arrest of the son of Congressman Carlos Jimenez, who's accused of slapping Miami City Commissioner Alex Diaz de la Portilla on the side of the head. We're also hearing from a former prosecutor and defense attorney who says the battery charges can have serious consequences. CBS 4's Peter Danch is live in Coral Gables at the police department. And Peter, that surveillance video was released just a short while ago. Well, Elliot and Lauren, talk about breaking tape. This tape was released literally moments ago. It shows two different camera angles. Let's take a look at that tape right now as we speak here live outside the Coral Gables Police Department. Uh, this tape, according to police, shows a struggle between Carlos Jimenez Jr. and a sergeant of arms who was with Miami Police at part of the protective detail for the commissioner. He is trying to restrain Jimenez before Coral, Pol Coral Gables Police get there. This is outside the Morton's restaurant on Ponce de Leon Boulevard. Now, witnesses react to this, and there is a 911 call for police assistance. This is the newest look at what happened there. We tried to speak with Jimenez earlier today. Can I just talk to you about it? Just anything you say at all? But I caught up with Carlos Jimenez Jr. and his wife, who was also an attorney, outside their home. We asked to speak with him about accusations that he slapped Miami Commissioner Alex Diaz de la Portilla on the side of the head with an open hand while he was having lunch Wednesday afternoon at Morton Steakhouse in Coral Gables. They told me they could not comment. Exactly. As an attorney, what can you tell me about I this? I can tell you thing? that you can speak to Michael Band, who is representing us both in this matter. On Thursday, the 44 year old Jimenez called Diaz de la Portilla a corrupt politician and said he thought the case would be dismissed. We also asked him about that. Do you feel the charges will be just, no, I'm okay. Do you feel the charges will be dropped? I can't say anything, Peter. I'm sorry. can't say anything, nothing at all. When we reached out to Diaz de la Portilla, he told us in a statement, it is now well documented that this coward approached me from behind and gave me a backhand as he ran away. He was unprovoked and there was no conversation. Jimenez is charged with battery, a first degree misdemeanor. It's just, it's any kind of uh, actual uh, or intentional uh, touching or striking of another person against that person's will without permission or consent. Former prosecutor and defense attorney Glenn Rotterman says there can be serious consequences. It's punishable by up to a year in a county jail or a thousand dollar fine or anything uh, along the lines. It could be a combination of jail or probation or a fine or or just one or the other. It depends upon you know how far they're pushing it. I mean, it's a state attorney's office will make the ultimate decision, no doubt. Um, about what they want to do with the case. There are plenty of options. Now, he could also offer him a diversion program where he does some community service, a letter of apology, uh, maybe some probation or maybe some community service. Now, I spoke with Jimenez's attorney, Michael Band. He is a prominent defense attorney and former longtime prosecutor with the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office. He told me he is still gathering the facts in this case and could not comment right now. We are live at Coral Gables, Peter Nanch, CBS 4 News.